What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now today what I am going to do is I'm going to take you guys through a complete back workout. So we are going to hit both width and thickness in this session but primarily what I want to do is I want to cover at the very start anyway I want to cover more so the width of the back so obviously we're more so thinking of the V taper of the back the big wide back compared to the smaller waist and obviously the bigger your back is the smaller your waist looks the smaller your waist is the bigger your back looks we all get that guys but what I want to do is like I said I want to cover the kind of width perspective of the back today at the start and then we will move on to obviously the the more so thickness part but we are going to stick to more kind of wider grips you can see at the very start so even on something like a bit over row we're going to begin with pull-ups so or chins whatever you guys know the mass pull-ups chins i don't even know what else can you call them nothing else i don't think so we are going to start off with them anyway pull-ups a more so wider grip like i did just mention but one of the biggest things that a lot of people misunderstand whenever it comes to training back is the mind to muscle connection is very, very, very important because when we are training the back, we can't see it. Do you know what I mean? We don't have a specific mirror in front of us and a mirror behind us to see if, if we are contracting the back or not. We don't know. So a really good mind to muscle connection is key whenever we're training the back for both width and thickness, not just one of them, okay? So that's one of the things. Whenever we're training back, guys, we need to make sure that we are contracting and connecting really, really, really hard with the back. So we're going to start off with wide grip pull-ups. The things I want you guys to quickly just check out is I am not going to go a really, really, really wide grip to the point where I won't be able to contract my back. I am going to go maybe just outside shoulder width. So what you can see, a kind of medium grip to make sure that obviously I am still able to take that stretch. But at the same time, you'll see everything I'll be able to connect together. So obviously I am still going to focus on the width. But one of the things, guys, is focusing on width doesn't necessarily mean you need to go a super, super, super wide grip to the point where you can't even contract your lats. We still want to make sure the contraction is there. So making sure that we are staying within a grip, that we can still contract the back is definitely key. So as you guys see, whenever I do move on to pull-ups, I am still contracting the back on every single rep. I like to kind of make sure that I take between two to four sets at either the start of the session or the very end of the session. We are going to start on them today and then we will be moving on to bent over rows. So what you can kind of see is we're in a way pre-exhausting before we move on to bent over rows, which will also be kind of similar grip to my pull-ups. It's going to be not the normal grip, it's going to be a little bit wider. But yes, pull-ups first, two to four sets anyway. I don't have a specific rep range. I like to just kind of take them all out. So we are shooting for kind of between 10 and 20 reps maybe every single set from first set to fourth set so you guys will see what i mean but watch how my back contracts and watch how i don't go a super wide grip to make sure that i'm not able to take anything from the back i hope this video helps you in some form of way i do like to obviously bring in entertainment videos and things but at the same time i like to bring videos that maybe will be a little bit more informative and you guys will be able to take something from it like this video today for instance so of course just like normal guys i hope you enjoy this video if you do enjoy it then please do not forget to drop the video like subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's get on with these pull-ups So as you would have seen there guys with my wide grip pull-ups, I wasn't super, super, super wide to the point where I wasn't able to drive my elbows all the way in and contract my lats as hard as possible. They were pretty much just outside shoulder width anyway, maybe kind of one to two inches outside shoulder width. I feel that's enough anyway to make sure that I can still get a really good mind to muscle connection with my back because obviously I don't just want to be pulling myself up and not getting anything out of it. Of course, pull-ups are one of the hardest moves in the game. Simply it is down to up here anyway, do you know what I mean? We are just pulling our body weight up, but at the same time, we've just got to think about not pulling our body weight up. We've got to think about pulling that bar towards us, but at the same time, we want to also make sure that we are taking a really good mind-to-muscle connection with our back. If, obviously, we are going down the bodybuilding route, when we turn to the rear, we want a really good back shot. We don't want to turn to the rear and prove that we've never had a really good mind-to-muscle connection with our back and we haven't really trained it that hard. But yes, that is pull-ups done. I did take 16 and then 14 and then I took, I believe, 12 and 12 again for my last and final set. So four sets done. Body weight, of course, I do weighted pull-ups as well, but at the same time, I am just kind of focused on going through the movements today more than anything else. Of course, this is still going to be a big session, but we did take four sets there. I am now going to move on to barbell rows next. Like I said, a wider grip again, which is 
It's pretty unusual for me. I normally just do a kind of shoulder width grip, but we are focusing on obviously width at the start of the session today. And I have done these before, but not often, but we are going to go back to them today. So I hopefully will be able to take them maybe three plates, three and a half plates max for a good set anyway. Of course, we still are focusing on being able to drive the elbows all the way up and contract nice and hard. We want a big back guys, we don't want to turn to the rear and have no back at all of course. Everybody knows that shows are one from the back, so yeah, bent over rows next. So just like I was saying there, what we're going to do today is we are going to go outside shoulder width. Normally what I would do for a barbell row is I would kind of stay within the kind of shoulder width or maybe just outside a slight by a couple of centimetres. But we are going to go a little bit wider today, so this is obviously going to help us focus on the width of our back more than the thickness. So obviously we still want to be able to contract really really hard even though we're going obviously a super wide grip we still want to contract really hard that's one of the biggest things if we don't we're not getting that mind to muscle connection we're not working the back and it is really pointless of course we're going to try and lift some heavy weights today so here we go so as you'll see here my back is spread out as much as possible this is one of the things stretch all the way out contract nice and hard here stretch all the way out contract nice and hard so as much as we're driving our elbows up and out away, we still want to make sure that our lats are getting fired up as hell. Barbell rows done, pull up is done. We're now going to move on to a pull down variation. So it's going to be normal staple in most of my back sessions, if not every back session. We're going to go for the straight bar pull down. Again, we're going to stay with a wide grip here, just like normal. I don't really do anything. I don't really do anything different with a straight bar, a wide grip bar anyway. We're also going to stay away from the mag grips today. We are going to just use the kind of basics, the normal. The old school attachments, what you can see anyway, we're going to go with a straight bar first. We're going to do a pull down and then we're going to do a wide grip row. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the thickness of the back. So we've got two more exercises to go for width and then it'll be thickness time. So we're going to go with straight bar pull down next in two to three sets. Two sets is usually enough, especially when done right. Two sets is definitely enough. So I might even just take two straight sets instead of a set and a back off set. So we are going to go with them next. Like I said, two more exercises to go and then we'll be moving on to thickness. Right, so last and final exercise up today that we're going to focus on obviously the width side of things. As you'll see, I have just stuck two plates on where I would do my seated row. Now that is simply because of my height, but don't tell anybody. So we are going to sit on them just from the placement where we are going to do the rows from. I have just also put the straight bar that I would do pull downs with on the very bottom. So we're going to do rows with them. We are going to stay an overhand grip as well. And of course, we're going to do a nice wide grip with this one as well. Now we're focusing obviously mid back here. Oh, same thing guys. Biggest thing here is mind to muscle connection because I do see so often once people switch to a wider grip, they lose absolutely everything. And sometimes it is because they go far too wide. Now, just like what I was saying about my pull-ups, bent over rows as well, you can go too wide and lose absolutely everything. And again, there's just no point in it because you're expending so much energy doing that, get nothing from it, and it's just a waste of time. So we are going to go, of course, a wide grip, but not too wide to the point where we can't contract nice and hard. Of course, we are still focusing on 
As much as we want the width from this, this is more so a complete back exercise. But as you'll see after this exercise as well, the exercises that I do move on to are more so, some you might say can be included in a width exercise selection, but some of them also can be said to be a thickness exercise. So we are gonna, of course, this is gonna be a complete back workout. It's not just gonna be width only. I don't just do a width only workout and I don't just do a thickness only workout. I like to do a complete back workout always. So of course we are starting on width today and we're gonna finish on thickness. Now guys, one of the things about the wide grip row that I did just do there, it can be also classified as a thickness exercise for back, but it is one of the exercises I do love to do it, especially for with just simply because of the stretch on it. So obviously you are on a wide enough grip, but at the same time, we need to make sure that we are connecting with the lats enough to be able to stretch them all the way out before obviously rolling it all the way back in. That is also a very, very, very beneficial exercise for obviously your back thickness. Now, anything to be quite honest, like, are there, when you think about it, are there any specific exercises that are only dominantly for width or are only dominantly for thickness? Like, it is gonna come in a complete back exercise, most exercises for back these days, unless you are very much isolating a unilateral exercise where you possibly are just focusing on one part of the back, you possibly are just focusing on maybe the width or the thickness. At the same time, it is very, very, very hard. Like, I always believe that a back should be very, very balanced. Obviously, from a width perspective, from a thickness perspective, from just an all-round perspective of the back, like, when you want to be hitting a back double bicep shot, you obviously want that V taper, obviously a back, a back lat spread, you want that V taper, you also want so much thickness, you want it to be very, very, very balanced. That's one of the things. So this is obviously a complete workout for your back. That can also be a back thickness exercise, but today we are gonna classify it as more so width. I am gonna move on to some thickness exercises now, and of course some complete exercises that are gonna focus on width and thickness. But yes, back is nearly done. We've got a few more exercises to go. I'm also gonna hit some arms today, and that is gonna be us, so yes. Without further ado guys, no more talking, let's just get on with this safe.
Last and final exercise were rope pull downs. Now that's another one of my favorites that I do like to include in pretty much all of my back sessions. Again, like I said, I don't specifically focus on width one day and thickness the other day. I like to do complete full workouts every single time. That being twice a week, I do hit my back twice a week. I, I did feel for a while it was a lagging body part. Now it's definitely one of my strongest body parts. If not my very strongest, I will include a couple of shots from the recent time on stage of obviously my back shots. Again, you guys will see, I'm not going to stand here and say that my back's perfect, but I do believe my back has got somewhat of decent symmetry, decent balance, and obviously thickness along with that as well. So obviously thickness and width, I will include a back double bicep and a back lat spread shot. But yes, that is going to be a wrap up for today's back session, width and thickness focused. I did finish off on some arms there, biceps dominantly because I will be moving on to obviously triceps next for a push workout or should I say a shoulder workout because it is a bro split, it is not a push pull leg split. But yes. That is going to be it guys, I really do hope you can take something from this session, whether that be implement some of these exercises in your back sessions, obviously to help out whether you need to focus maybe on some width or focus on some thickness, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you have enjoyed it, then please don't forget to drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'm off to get some food, I need some rapid recovery, but yes, food's going to be on the cards next. I'll just see you guys in the next video.